Alright, what's up, y'all? Should do big C's. I'm here. And, as you can see, I'm messing with my PlayStation 3 once again. Today, I will be switching my PS3 from a 20 gig to a 320 gig. Because I went ahead and bought a new hard drive, and I've always had a problem not being able to download games and movies and all that because there's too much stuff on the hard drive. So we about to get to it. Alright, so as you can clearly see like I said the 20 gig hard drive. I got two I got 10 gigabytes of hard space left out of uh, 18 gig. It's a 20 gig but 2 gig is always used up for just the system itself. So like I said that ain't hard nothing. Now I bought my PS3 when they first launched when they first hit showroom floors, uh, when they first was in the stores. I actually had a motherfucker make a comment like he was going to take my shit because they were hard to get. So I was looking like, yeah, alright bitch, I put this 45 on your ass too. So the first thing I need to do is I need to store all my saved game information onto um, a mass, uh, a media storage device. So what I'll be using is, I'll be using my cell phone. As you can see, that's my Sprint Instinct cell phone. It is currently hooked up to my PS3. And all you do is you go over to you go over to your saved uh, information. As you can see, I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 right now. But uh, you go to your saved information. Where the hell is that? Save utility data. And let me see. I have the first Modern Warfare in here, so I obviously need to open this up. And I need to copy this. So all right, I just saved the first Modern Warfare. I also need to save. Oh, I need to save uh, everything in my John Madden folder. Yep, my franchise and all that. So I'm going to save all that right now. And then, of course, I'm going to save my Modern Warfare With all too. my information I'm saved, I'm ready to remove the hard drive. Now, removing the hard drive is easy. All you do is you remove this little tab right there that comes right off and I'm going to show you how easy it is and that comes out and there's your hard drive you have uh, three bolts the blue one in the middle and the two on the on the side all you do is uh, unbolt those like I'm about to do and so then the hard drive slides right out slides right out. Now you have to loosen four bolts. One, two, three, four to get the hard drive out of the protective package. Like so. I'm going to show you all right now. Hard drive slides right out. Just like that. Yep. Now this is very important. You got to make sure you have no static built up on your body because that will mess up the new hard drive. That's the 320 gig right there. And I'm going to put it in this rack. And then I'm basically going to do the reverse of everything that I did the hard to drive is now get in it out sleeve and it's ready to go back into the PS3. All you do is drop it in there like so. so you put it in push there. Push it over to the... Put the hard drive back in. And of course I have to put the blue bolt back in. So I'm going to do that right now. Then I'm going to plug up my PS3. And that's how you get a 320 gigabyte PS3. Here's the blue bolt. And I'm going to put that back in. Yeah, I got my name on my shit. Boom. Now I'm going to plug it back up and I got a 320 gig hard drive PS3. Okay, now I got it in. 
says I gotta format the hard drive. Of course I'm gonna click yes. And there it is. Formatting the hard drive. Alright. Now it has to restart the system. I'll load it up, signed in, and now when I go over to the hard drive, when I go to system settings, system information, look at that. That's how much space I now have. It's a 320, uh, it was supposed to be a 320 gig hard drive. I might have to go wipe the whole thing, but, you know, it's cool. And, looks like all my games are already still saved on here. Hold up a second. Nope, nope, I gotta put all my games back on. And, that is how you get yourself a 320 gigabyte, uh, PlayStation. Now the reason it says 298, 298 gig is really 320, but the system automatically takes so much space for itself for whatever reason. I have no idea. Don't ask me. But you can purchase the hard drive anywhere online. I got mine on eBay for fifty dollars, and that's how you do it. So till next time, it's Big C's. I get with y'all niggas. Peace.